Hey everyone, welcome back to the We Gas Fire Builders Workshop. Uh, so here we're going to do a, a, a new series of some videos. We're actually going to go through starting with a complete kit and we're going to actually go through a build here. So we've got uh, one of our uh, new builders, uh, DeMarcus, has come up uh, to do training with us this week. So we're going to go through step-by-step -step process. We're going to start with the main kit. We're going to unbox it. We're going to show you what you get in a kit. And then we're going to start going through the sub-assemblies and hopefully uh, a complete uh, a complete build. So the first thing is, so this is our typical what you get in our kit. Uh, basically, we ship it on a 48 by 40 uh, by about uh, 25 inches tall pallet. Uh, it weighs about 650 pounds, depending on what we have in the kit. This is just a basic kit with just a, the V3 wood gasifier. We, we can also, in this configuration, if, if the customer ordered a hopper or engine kit or other accessories, we can also put that on the kit. The only thing that's going to change is it'll add a little bit of the weight to it. The dimensions of the kit will remain about the same. Uh, so whether the customer's picking it up or if we're shipping it, this is typically the configuration that we'll do. Um, in this case, we're going to open this up and actually start doing a build. But if I was to ship this, I'll pro probably put a few more bands on it to, for the freight company. Uh, so first thing is we'll go ahead and, and open this up and uh, kind of see what we've got here. So we have uh, uh, basically a stretch wrap and we've got a couple bands. So what we've got here is we've got some metal, some of the rolled metal. This, uh, this is uh, the installation that's going to be the in external insulation. It's going to be inside the gas fire. We can just kind of set that on the ground over there. We've got the rolled parts. This is external housing for the reactor and the filter. Then we've got six boxes. Uh, starting with the big box here, box one. This is where all the plate metal and the main rolled parts for the filter and the uh, main reactor are gonna be. I also include in here a bag that's got filter material. So this is some, uh, this is this straw that we use for the, the coarse filter material. We've got some foam filter in here that's gonna be for the fine fold uh, filter. So in here, these are the rolled parts for inside the reactor and inside the uh, filter. And then on the bottom, we've got a lot of the plate metal that's gonna separate the different layers. Um, then we've got all the round bar for the lids and such in here. We've got the grate uh, and some of the other uh, stainless steel components. So this is box one. Then we've got, uh, let's see, there's six boxes. This, this box here is box four. This is going to have the filter media. This is going to have the uh, sealants, silicone cord, and paint. We'll just kind of stack them up over there. This box three is going to be the electronics and the wiring. So we're going to have the blower, the grate motor, the wiring, the relay, switch boxes, uh, uh, wiring, anything to do with the electrical. This box five is uh, basically it's all the black pipe fittings. It's going to have the black uh, black pipe fittings, the stainless steel tube, the sight glass, auxiliary ports, anything to do with pipe fittings is going to be in here. This box two, this is where the two inch uh, tube for the cooling system is going to be. So we've got the two inch uh, exhaust tubes, we've got the silicone connectors, We've got the two inch U bends, 90 degree bends. We've got T clamps. Uh, and then we've got supports for the cooling assembly. And then this one, this is box six. I'm just calling it miscellaneous parts. So there's, you know, there's a variety of parts in here. There's, you know, bags like with the air jets, um, uh, the stainless steel fittings. Um, wheels, bracket for the battery case, just all the miscellaneous parts are going to be in here. Put 
get over there. And then here, the stock metal we have here, this is a, a external cover for the heat exchange. This is gonna be the condensate tube. There's gonna be some square tube that's gonna be on the base. We've got the uh, rectangular tube that's gonna be for the riser. So uh, that doesn't fit in a particular box, so we kind of group all that together. So now what we'll do when you first uh, get the, everything unpacked is we're gonna go now, we're gonna go up and separate everything parts and start putting the parts by assembly and then get ready to start working on our sub assemblies. All right. So now we've taken our kit and uh, what we've gone to a staging area and we're un unboxed uh, uh, all the different boxes. So we unboxed box one that has most all the metal for the housings and the f uh, reactor and the filter. So here We've got a reactor housing, we've got filter housing, we've got the internals for the filter tank, the filter basket, we've got the external uh, insulation liner for the reactor. Over here, we've got the reactor parts. So we've got the, these are mainly the internal components for the reactor. So uh, in all the different liners, so we've got the paralysis liner, the air jacket liner, the condensate. We've got the different plates and rings to separate out those layers. We've got the lids. We've got the stainless steel grates. Um, then over here, we've got the boxes. So we've got box two, three, four, five, and six. So as we said, box two has all our uh, exhaust tubing. So we've got the stainless steel clamps. We've got the silicone connectors. We've got the two inch U-bends. This is mainly for the cooling assembly. We've got the two inch straight pipes. We've got the two inch uh, 90 degree elbows. We've got the short lengths of two inch pipe that we use as connectors. So, you know, wherever there's gas in, gas out between the different sub assemblies, we've got these. And then we've got support brace which is gonna get welded on the back of the cooling assembly. And we've got the high temperature silicone connector that's gonna go between the, uh, the heat exchange and the cooling assembly. So that's all these pieces. In box three, we've got the electronics and wiring. So we've got some wiring loom. We've got a little bag that's got the wire. Uh, we've got the switches, the connectors for the 12 volt. We've got for the thermocouple reading, uh, we've got a little display so you can monitor the temperature inside your reduction. We've got the actual thermocouple that's going to get mounted on the grate. This is a little speed control box that you can mount on the switch box to control the speed of your fan. We have the actual blower, the 12 volt blower that's imported from China. We have the 12 volt grate motor which is going to control the motion of the grate. We've got an electronic relay that's pre-programmed, so it's going to turn on for three, uh, th uh, five seconds every three minutes on the grate. And we've got a little project box that we're going to use to hold house the switches that we use to control the blower and the grate. And uh, if we want to put in something like a, a, a glow plug start, we can put that on here as well. All right, then we box four. We got the filter supplies. So I showed you we had a plastic bag that had the coarse material, straw. Then we've got foam filters and coarse and fine. It's going to go in the filter basket. We've got the high temperature silicone cord that's going to act as a sealant for the lids. We've got the fire rope which is going to be a sealant on the filter basket. We've got various mortar high temperature mortar and seal sealants. We've got some liquid gasket. We've got some stove gasket cement. We've got this copper coat, which is a high temperature anti-seize lubricant. We're gonna put in all the threaded fittings to stop the fitting, uh, fittings from seizing up. Uh, then we've got paint. I typically uh, do a two-tone color, so we'll have one can of uh, green and then one can of high temperature black. 
This stuff's rated for about 1200 degrees. And then a couple cans that we use for touch up. So uh, a spray can of each of these. Box five, we have our pipe fittings. So in here, here we've got our auxiliary ports, which is half inch nipples with uh, stainless steel couplers and caps. We've got our valves, so we've got a one and a half inch valve, one and a quarter inch check valve for the air inlet. If the customer ordered an engine kit, there'd be additional valve, there'd be a two inch valve uh, you know, that would be in this box as well. We've got the stainless steel elbows for the air intake. The stainless steel tube and stainless steel fins that are going to be welded on the air intake assembly. We've got the stainless steel sight glass that's going to be on the ignition port so that you can actually look into the hearth and see when it's lit. And we have a variety of different fittings. So here we've got some two inch plugs and couplers, uh, three inch clean outs. There are various sizes. We've got our stainless steel reduction tube. This is a schedule 40 quarter inch uh, piece of uh, six inch pipe, stainless steel pipe. This is where the reduction, the gas is actually created. This is gonna be welded to the stainless steel reduction tube. And then we've got miscellaneous fittings, half fittings, elbows to go to the flare, uh, different sizes ranging anywhere from one inch up to three and a half inches in size. So all the fittings, pipe fittings go in there. Then in box six is basically going to be everything else. So I always put in the, I always include a, an envelope in here. So this will have, if you're a kit that you've purchased, it'll have your invoice in here. It'll have the safety stickers for you to put on your build when you're done. It'll have a printout of the assembly instructions for the kit. It'll have a USB that's got a bunch of files on here that includes leak testing, uh, assembly drawings, uh, uh, wiring diagrams, a bunch of other things on here as well for you to do the assembly. And then some of the other things would be miscellaneous. We got things like the wheels, flare cup kit, a bag with all the nuts and bolts to mount everything together, some little miscellaneous parts, a few CNC parts, some off the shelf pieces for the lid assembly, the grate assembly, your uh, actual air jets. So if you, you know, whether it's an 8-jet version or a 10-jet version, we'll have the air jet plus the half coupler that's going to get welded on the, uh, the air intake. Then we've got the stainless steel, I call them diverters. This is going to go inside the uh, stainless steel liner and uh, basically it's going to divert the fuel to fall in front of the air jets. So uh, basically there's no cold spots inside your hearth. And then there's a miscellaneous part, so the things like... Uh, lid brackets, brackets to uh, secure the lid for the filter, uh, the hopper if you've got it, things like the uh, grate, lid latch, miscellaneous metal parts, tank mounts that's going to go from the base, it's going to mount to your, your tank onto the base, so all the miscellaneous parts are going to be in there. So it's kind of separated, these boxes kind of separate out the materials by category. So now that what we're going to do, since we're in the staging area, we're going to separate out everything by sub-assembly. Oh, one last one over here, this shrink wrapping. This is a heat, the heat exchange box. So all the parts for the, for the heat exchange are wrapped in there. There's nine pieces, and that's going to be the box that's going to get welded on the outside of the reactor. Um, and that's pretty much everything that's in the kit. So now the next thing is just kind of we'll separate out all the parts that we need to build by subassembly.